I'm very excited to start this brand new AI algorithmic trading series. Like we have almost completed our previous beginners level Python algorithmic trading series and just few videos are pending and we will be completing that shortly, right? I think only uh, around 8 to 10 projects from this book are pending and we will be completing them soon, right? So, in this series, what is our plan of action? So, in this series, we will be learning AI trading because, you know, nowadays everything has been completely changed, right? And we have to use the AI and the machine learning extensively for our trading because the traditional trading is completely, you know, finished. We cannot do that. We cannot compete the traditional way with the new AI edge uh, tools. So, definitely, we will be incorporating all those new tools in this series. But along with that, we'll be learning all the basic stuff of machine learning and AI. So even a beginner level student can learn that how uh, this works, right? So it can be applied for uh, crypto, it can be applied for tradition stocks, or it can be even applied for the uh, Forex, right? So my book, Practical Python for Effective Algorithmic Trading is designed to bridge that exact gap. It's packed with electrifying stories from the field, invaluable lessons, from hard won mistakes so your journey is smoother if you want the ebook you can download it from the school community of course with a discount and if you want the hard print you can order from amazon algorithmic trading we will be taking the help of freq ai right like freq ai uh, is a part of freq trade which is open source platform and it is fantastic platform so we'll be taking help of that but remember that we can apply all these concepts in anywhere. You can apply those concepts in uh, Quant Connect. You can apply those concepts in MetaTrader, right? So it is universal, right? So it can be applied anywhere. So uh, let me give you a brief introduction about uh, what we are going to learn uh, in this series. So in this session, it will be kind of introduction, but it's very important. And from the next series, uh, we'll be starting with the complete, you know, technical details and, but it will be very basic. So don't worry, even if you are a beginner, you will be able to understand it completely, right? So, we have this Frick AI, right? Frick AI is the Frick Trades Machine Learning Revolution, right? Which means I have tried it, I have tested it, I like the, mainly the back testing. So, and I would recommend you to do back testing only in the initial phase. Until, unless you are 100% sure that you are, you know, well versed and you have a technical expertise and you have a technical team to handle the live trading, please do not go and do that live trading. First, learn the back testing and the dry run and do not jump uh, directly to the live trading, right? It's completely up to you. You have to learn. And then only if you think that you have the complete expertise, then only go, right? Otherwise, I will not recommend this. So, what is machine learning, right? So, as per Wikipedia, it says, machine learning is a field of study in artificial intelligence that concerned with the development and study of statistical algorithms, right? Which means, in machine learning, we develop or we study the existing uh, statistical algorithms, right? And why we do that? Because it can learn from the known data so that it can generalize for the unseen data. And why we do this generalization? So that machines can perform actions without any explicit instructions. I think it's uh, like crystal clear, but I just wanted to make it very clear. So this definition is like already very clear, but I just wanted to explain it more. Right? So it says, Frick AI is a powerful machine learning framework built into FreckTrade. FreckTrade, I have already explained how to install this and how to manage this completely. But don't worry, we will again discuss this in upcoming uh, videos that automatically trains predictive models to generate market forecast. Think of it as your personal AI trading assistant that learns from market data and adapts to changing conditions in real time. Right? Now, what will be our objective in this series? So, so first we will be learning about the AI algo trading completely with the deep ML concepts, right? the machine learning concepts. And then we will be using AI tools to automate this whole trading infrastructure. Right, because now we have to use all those tools to make our trading more efficient, more faster, and more error free. Because when humans uh, do the work, they always make mistakes, right? So we'll try to use all those automation tools. Let's say it can be N8N, 
or it can be with the new gen databases like the Airtable and all those other tools, right? The make.com and all those tools to make our trading more faster and to make our complete workflow completely, you know, uh, automated and faster. Okay, now let's understand what is Freq AI, right? So Freq AI, it transforms static trading strategies into intelligent, adaptive systems instead of hard coding. So what happens in the regular algo trading? We hard code the rules, right? Let's say the RSA should uh, should be less than 30 to, to buy or whatever the rules are there. But in machine learning algo trading, what happens that it automatically adapts with the situation, right? It automatically decides where to buy and where to sell. But before that, you, we have to give it enough data so that it can make, you know, uh, so that it can make good trading decisions. Then it learns from complex patterns from thousands of features and automatically adjust to new market conditions. We will be learning about features like in detail in upcoming videos. Don't worry about that. So it is intelligent trading, pattern learning and market adaptation. So we'll be covering this. Uh, we'll be covering this in very deep. Don't worry. See, I'm sure that you will be having so many doubts, so many and you would want to connect with me. Right? So for that, the best platform is our school community where we have around 200 people right now. And we discuss the issues, we discuss the problem, and we and we host weekly live meetings. So in that, we will be discussing your issues, your you know your advices, your opinions. So you can join this and you can ask any questions. And you will be finding all the resources here only. Let's say the coding files, the the, the flow charts, and all these uh, PDFs you will be finding here only. So what's better? You join and you just say me hi in school community. Okay, then. If you are a beginner and if you thinking to go into the algo trading but you do not know anything about this right so before going into this complex algo trading field i would recommend you that uh please just clear your concepts just clear your basics and for that i would recommend you to go through this book this practical python it's a very practical book and it, it is not very difficult right it is very beginner friendly it does contain all the you know mistakes stories of uh, algorithmic trading world uh, which you would not like to repeat and also very basic you know clarity so at least you will get more interested in this field and it will motivate and it will inspire you to uh, join this field right so just go through this book quickly it will take you like not more than one week to go through this book but if you already have basic clarity and basic understanding then you can join our three months uh, algo trading mentorship program in which we will be diving completely deep and will be helping you with all the technical stuff right so you can just go through this pdf and uh, you can decide how you would like to uh, like proceed further right okay now let's understand about the freq ai workflow but how does this work because what happens in this ai and machine learning of really these are known as black boxes we do not know what is happening inside but if we have basic clarity that how this uh, model is working then you know will be more interested and will be more you know uh, curious to know more about this so we will try to understand this now so and so in freq ai mainly we have these three components the first is i freq ai model then we have freq ai data kitchen then we have freq ai data drawer and what these components do this is the brain that handles all the ml operations right the training and the predictions and then the data kitchen prepares, normalize, and transform features. So we'll be learning the feature engineering completely uh, in separate uh, lecture in upcoming videos. This is the storage manager for models, predictions, and metadata. Right now, when we execute this freq AI, what happens in the phase one? The phase one is system initialization. Right. So in this, what happens? The first is configuration loading. Right. So the freq ai reads the config parameters and validate settings so for example the train period days identifier feature parameters and the model training parameters so if we have gone through the previous uh, sessions of freq ai in fred trade you know that we have a json file and in that we define all the parameters so the first step is it loads that config file right then it will integrate the strategy so the strategy calls the freq ai.start in populate indicators then 
In this, mainly we have the functions, the feature engineering expand all, feature engineering expand basic, then we have feature engineering standard and set free carry targets, right? Once that is done, then it will select the model. So, let's say we have specified which model to use. So, we can use the light GBM, we can XG boost, we can use XG boost and there are, and there are multiple models, right? But the basic is, so when we use the light GBM aggressor, it is fast. And when we talk about the XG boost, it is stable, right? And when we talk about the cat boost, it is accurate. And when we talk about the pi torch ML aggressor, it is advanced. So, see, each model has its different, you know, utility. So, you have to decide that which model to use while you are trading. So, so we will discuss that also in upcoming videos, right? Okay. Then what happens? It is the phase two. Data collection and processing, right? So, in which it will automatically download the required historical candle data. So, in which we have the OHLCV data, open, high, low, close, and volume data from any exchange you have mentioned. Let's say if you have mentioned the Binance, Bybit, or there are multiple exchanges you can integrate with the Frick AI, right? Then it will select the time frames, right? Which have you mentioned in the config file. Then and then it will also download data for the uh, uh, correlated pairs, right? And then the sufficient training period. So, whatever we have mentioned in the config file, it will download that required data. Then it comes the feature engineering. So, it will create thousands of features from base indicator. Let's say it will create few features by multiplying the base indicators into the periods, right? Let's say we have an indicator RSI and we have multiple time frames 5 minutes, 1 minute, uh, 15 minutes, half an hour. So, it will multiply the RSI to uh, all those time frames and it will create new features. And what is features? And like in the very layman term, these are the, uh, these, these are the columns in the CSV file, right? So, it will create another column for the RSI 5 minutes, uh, then RSI 15 minutes, then RSI 1 hour and 4 hours, right? And which means we can create thousands of features from a single OHLCB data. In OHLCV, we have only five columns, but with the help of feature engineering, we'll be able to create thousands of features. And it is very helpful. We will be understanding that in a uh, future. Then, then we have data pre-processing. So the data creation component prepares data for machine learning, right? So it will normalize data, it will handle the NA, NN values, then it will select the features out of these which are good. Then it will split the data in train and test, which means we have split the data into train and test. So uh, it will keep some data for the training and then it will also test the data, right? Okay. Next we have is outlier detection. So in the Spec AI, we have to remove the anomalous data points to improve model accuracy, right? So, so sometimes what happens that uh, in the data, we have some outliers. Let's say we are going smoothly in the in the trading, and on one day, let's say the gain was fifty six percent, but but the average is just six percent. Means that single day fifty six percent is something you know something unusual, and we do not want to take that day in our data. So if we remove the outliers, uh, you know average uh, price and average gain, and it will help us to you know predict more accurate uh, data and insights. So we have to remove all those outliers, and outliers can be, you know, can be from multiple reasons. So, but we have to handle them very carefully. It is very important part of this machine learning uh, trading, right? Then, in the phase three, we have model training, right? So, in which the first will be initial training, in which it will train the ML model on prepared data sets, right? Then it will validate the model. So it will test the model on unseen data. Right, so it will calculate the various metrics, which can be like mean squared error, R squared score, then directional accuracy and feature importance, right? And and then it will save the train model and metadata to disk, right? Because if we do not save the data, then it will all be gone. Because if it is not persistent data, and uh, then all our hard work will be gone, and all the compute we have used, the resources we have used will be 
wasted so we have to make sure that the model is persistent and we are saving the data somewhere right so we will discuss that and we will do that in future uh, practically so now the fourth phase is live prediction in which we process new candles data as it arrives right we'll be having a new OHLCV data then we have to simultaneously you know calculate the features then we have to normalize data and then we also have to check the outliers then we have the model inference in which it will generate predictions using train model right so these are very important parts the and target value the do predict di values statistical measures so we'll learn these and then we have confidence assessment right so, so it will evaluate the prediction reliability and quality so like we will check like when the model can be expired then the dissimilarity index then outlier detection and the confidence scoring right now the last phase is trading execution so in which the signals will be generated right the strategy uses predictions to generate trading signals then the trades will be executed so so it will be based on these signals generated on this 14 uh, point so we execute steps like the position sizing the order replacement the risk management and the trade monitoring right and one more thing that for the trade mon monitoring part we have a very robust monitoring infrastructure which is ALK stake elastic search and uh, log session kibana and uh, i'll be showing you that also in the upcoming videos that how to set up that right okay and the last but not the least is performance tracking so in this we will monitor the trade outcomes and model performance right so the prediction accuracy the trade profitability the model degradation and historical performance sometime what happens that with the with the time and with the new data the models quality is degraded right so we have to always keep on updating the models with the new data right so yeah this was the basic you know uh, workflow of the freq ai very basic and I'll be sharing this complete PDF in the school community so you can download from there right and you can read it and you can ask me any questions you have in the school community you can directly ping me I respond to all the messages right and all the comments in the school community so uh, make sure you go through the basics and uh, and if you think you need more help uh, you can connect with me on the school and so yeah this is it for this video I will see you in the next video until then bye bye Take care, have an awesome day.